Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert's Tuesday Tip. So today I thought we would look at the Trumbull R10 R12 web GUI. So there is a, a web interface built into the R10 R12s. So I thought I'd show you guys how to get into these things today because <clears throat> you can do a lot with just your iPhone. So first things first. Okay, so the first thing that we really want to do is you want to go in and if somebody's had a hold of your R10, say you got a hold of a used one or one of the other crews and um, they got into the web GUI and um, was able to get in there and change it, the password and everything else. And you're like, well, I, I can't get into it because I don't know the username and password. So let me show you real quick, first thing. You want to turn this thing on and then once your Wi-Fi emitter, which your Wi-Fi emitter is the one over on the right hand side, it's going to be the Wi-Fi, you're going to see it pop on there. There it goes. So the Wi-Fi is on, it's transmitting, so it's broadcasting Wi-Fi. So what we want to do is you want to hold this power button down and you're going to see all the lights go out and we're going to sit here and wait. And you'll see the satellite come on basically for a second time. Because if you'll notice, it came on originally when I held the button down. There it is. It's back on. And should go off here in a second. And this does take a minute or two. Okay. It went off. Satellite light went off, I released the button. So now what it's doing is it's, it's hard booting itself. It's clearing everything out of the memory. It's taking it back to the factory firmware, okay? So any changes you made, any static data you had, anything is gonna be gone. So we have to sit here and wait just for a few minutes until that satellite light comes back on. Or I'm sorry, not satellite light, the Wi-Fi light comes back on. When the Wi-Fi light comes back on, that means it's turned the emitter back on and we can connect up to it with our phone and we'll show you how to do that. So give it just a second or two. Okay, there it goes. All the lights are back on. That means it's turned itself back on and you're gonna see that Wi-Fi emitter come on by itself. Now this is also good, like if you're having some kind of issues, maybe a Bluetooth issue or um, some other weird issue with a receiver, it could be that you need to clear the RAM and that's basically how you do it. You just go in and hold that thing down and it resets it. So, okay. So the Wi-Fi emitter is back going again. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to, first thing, put our old man glasses on so we can see this phone. Yep. Had birthday. Sunday, so yeah, 54, whew. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna go into um, settings on your phone. I'm running an iPhone. Basically, you're gonna do the same thing no matter what you're using. And you can use a laptop with this or a tablet, an Android phone. It doesn't make any difference. It all works as long as there's a browser and you can connect up to the Wi-Fi. So right now mine says Wi-Fi Martin House 2.4. That would be the internet here at the house because we're actually sitting in my kitchen. So Trimble GNSS 0384. That is the last four of the serial number of this receiver. 0384. Yes, I want to connect up to it. There is no username and password on this part. Okay, once you've connected up to it. Oh, let me get out of that because that's where we want to be. You're gonna to go to your web browser, Safari, Chrome, whatever. I'm using Safari. I'm gonna put in 192.168.142.1. And what that is, that's an IP address. Once we're connected to this Wi-Fi, then we're on its network. Just like you would connect to the Wi-Fi at my house. You'd be on my network. So this way we're connected to this network. Got it? Okay, so now that we're connected to that, I'm gonna hit go. So the first thing that's gonna pop up is it's asking me for a username and password. 
This is where I was talking. If somebody else had had this receiver, had gotten into this web GUI, they probably would have changed the username and password, and I'll show you why. So if I go in and the, the default username and password is lowercase admin, A-D-M-I-N, and the password is lowercase password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. I'm impressed, a surveyor I can spell. Okay, uh, this is just telling me that the Wi-Fi network does not, this is an iPhone thing, just tilt you cellular data. So, if you look up here at the top, it says Trimble R12, and it says Show Classic Web GUI. So, we're going to, right there where it says Show Classic Web GUI, we're going to click right there. Okay, once we click there, now then you'll notice it's asking us for a password. So, what you need to do, if you want to get this bar here on the left-hand side, this tree out of the way, just hit that little lock up there at the top, and it'll go away. The old password was password. I'll type in a new password. Update. There we go. So now it's asking me about the uh, the Wi-Fi in here. You can actually make this a um, broadcast Wi-Fi, like a MiFi or something. So you could actually put a SIM card in this, which I've got a SIM card in it right now. But you can put a SIM card in this and broadcast Wi-Fi um, to your data collector if you want to. But your this would be a hotspot for your data collector. So. I'm just going to right here, I'm going to say, yep, that's fine. I'm going to say save settings. I'm not going to change anything. Okay. I'm going to go back to the, I hit that up at the top, that classic thing. So now I'm going to turn this back on. And I'm going to lock it so we can see it. Okay. So you can see this menu down the left-hand side. You've got receiver status, satellites, data logging, receiver configuration. If you wanted to log static data and you want to start and stop it from your phone, you can click on right there. You can go in and you can set up your static right here. So as you can see, that's that session right there, that 15 second interval, that is a default. 1440 minutes is not enabled at this time. So I don't have it set up to do static at the moment but you could do that and you could download the static off here. So that is an option. Let's go to, to um, receiver configuration. Let's go to antenna. So if we look at the antenna, let me get rid of this. If we look at the antenna, Trimble R12, and then antenna serial number, which is reading it from it. Um, no radio dome, antenna method of measurement. Chances are I would have, if I was doing static, I would probably have this thing on. Well, it's being a pill right now. Why is it doing that? Come on, iPhone. There you go. I guess it just had to hit right in the right spot. So if I wanted to set the antenna, so normally I would have it on a fixed tripod with a um, with a lever extension. So I would have the lever extension of the R10 on there, and I would probably be set up at two meters and keep in mind it says ten antenna height there and it says in meters so you want to put it in meters done so i'm going to say okay so now i'm going to open this back up again and i'm going to look and you'll see it says reference station so if you look at the reference station i could do it here if i had any satellites but i got zero satellites sitting here inside this house so um, I can set this as a reference station. Now, right there, I can put in my latitude, longitude, and ellipsoid height for a monument, a nail, or whatever I'm setting on, right? So, um, you can do a here position just like you do in the data collector. But, like I said, you can also key in your position for this. Now, remember that reference height, that is your ellipsoid height, not your elevation, and it's in meters, okay? Just remember that. You can do Cartesian coordinates but I think that would probably be 
a little confusing for a lot of people, so let's just stick with geographical coordinates, okay? So once we do all that, and we've got all that set up, my phone's being a pill. Once we get all that set up, everything's good, you could go down on a normal day. Whoops, it wasn't fast enough. Come on, you could go down to um, radio. There it is. And I go radio configuration. And I could set my radio to transmit, radio mode. I could say transmit with no repeaters. I could tell it I want to be on that channel. I want to be on that wireless mode, which I could change to 96 if I want to. Channel sharing off, enable call sign, RF power level. Why would you ever want to change it to half watt radios beyond me, but it's in there. And down here, you can change what you listen to. You can't, the FCC says that you can't talk on any channel you want to, but you can listen on any channel you want to, okay? So in here, you can put in your channel that you need to receive. So if you had a base station set up, somebody else's base station, right? You're trying to work off of it. You could go in right there and you could change the add a frequency to it and reset the frequency in that receiver. Now you can also do this in terminal access, but you can do it right here on the phone. So just, just if you wanted to. So guys, I hope this uh, helps you out a little bit, kind of gives you an idea. I thought this might be a good idea for a Tuesday tip, but I've had several people recently ask me about this. So uh, I thought it would be good to just kind of throw it out there and um, see if this helps anybody. So as always guys, God bless. I really appreciate you watching. Um, as always, like and subscribe. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a bunch.